What's up, guys? <laughs> yep, so I got a box from James Clemens. And I don't even know what's in here. It's a total surprise. You know, I got a, a message from him a while back, a couple months, and he was like, hey, I got a couple cars I want to sing you. I'm like, let me get that Addy. So I'm like, okay, here you go. And wow, a couple cars. This thing's heavy, super heavy. And uh, well, here it is. So um, as you know, James Clemens, man, he is one of Red Pill's, you know, nemesis sometime on the track. <laughs> Uh, known for fast cars, mods, you know. So this man knows his way around diecast. So uh, I'm pretty. Sure, I don't even know what's in here. So I'm assuming it's stock cars. Uh, we're gonna find out though. So um, you know, got the knife here. We'll start to crack it open. But what I'm gonna do here is I want these cars to be uh, seen pretty cool and clear. So after I crack this box open, um, we're gonna go to a different view where you won't see me. You're gonna see the cars and some sort of background uh, to show them off. And I'll just randomly put my hand in here and grab the cars uh, one at a time. You know, like a blind pick. And sweet. Oh, sweet. Here we go, I got a, a cool little message in here. It says, Dear Scorpio, I'm sorry I took so long to send these cars out to you. These are for you to share and race with your peeps in the streets of LA. Uh, but I live in San Francisco though. <laughs> but it's all good. The streets of LA. I got some friends in LA. We can totally go there. Uh, I look forward to seeing the joy they will give. As always, love, peace, and hair grease. Thank you, James. I appreciate that, brother. Ah, snap. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna uh, dive off into this stuff here and uh, see what's in here. So let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Starting off with the Cardisada. So we'll wing it here and uh, see how this goes right here. This is one of the new 2021 castings here, as you can see right here. A nice fantasy car, and that looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty edible. It looks like a Maybe a little Taco Bell special right there or something, right? All right, cool. All right, and next up, oh, perfect. <laughs> We've got a 2014 uh, Stingray Corvette. There we go. That is sweet. <laughs> Hot Wheels. As you guys know, I just had a Hot Wheels race, and I'm going to have to do another one coming up, too. It's going to be the Matchbox Um I mean, I'm sorry, this is a matchbox. <laughs> what I'm saying is gonna be uh, a fugitive versus fugitive race with the police chasing you guys. So that will be the next one. So that looks pretty cool. Thank you very much. Uh, next up we have here a Hot Wheels Daredevil Bone Shaker. Uh, it has like the Forza on it as well. And that's pretty awesome. It looks cool. I don't have any bone shakers too, so that's a nice looking bone shaker right there. Thank you. Okay, and then uh, for those of you guys like myself, I bought a lot of donuts today actually. Uh, so the donut drifter is perfect that I'm doing this today because I went to the bakery today and bought a whole bunch of donuts. <laughs> so we got the donut drifter. Nice little fantasy ride right there. Pretty awesome. Okay, and then next up here, we've got this very heavy casting with the three delivery on it. And it is this ride right here. That looks so cool. It is very heavy. It's real riders, metal on metal. And as you can see, you got Captain American on it. You got Iron Man. You know, you got the whole team, basically, the Avengers on here. So that is pretty awesome. Look, that's the front end of it. And the back is pretty sweet. Wow, anything on the roof? Yep, you got the Avengers on the front there. That is very nice. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. All right. Oh, we got some classics right here. Look at that, guys. Ah, uh, yeah. That is, I'll just sit it like that. There we go. Boom. The Dodge D100. Nice, nice. All right, cool. And then next up here, we've got a Moto Track Stars 
Atomics. That is cool. I've never had one of these. I've had some uh, the uh, other ones that are similar to that by Hot Wheels, but this looks like the more modern one. This is really cool. I can't wait to get this on the track, actually. That is pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, this is a cool box here. <laughs> and then for those of you guys who love the uh, you know mini coopers here you go there's the mini cooper right there it's looking sweet matchbox you know i don't get a lot of matchbox actually so this is really cool to get some matchbox because they don't really have many at my targets that i go to so that's cool and then next up here we have another moto track stars the batlander so that's pretty awesome at least i have uh, two I can race against each other. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Wow. Thank you so much. These are so cool. All right, and then next up here we've got ourselves the Gen E Formula Gen E car, new for 2020. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's kind of interesting how it's sideways on here too. It looks like it kind of got flipped sideways, but we've got that one. That's pretty awesome. And uh, next up, we've got Scream Liner. So there's the Scream Liner car. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It says 2017 on it. Uh, and there you go. It's the front of that one. Uh, another police car coming up, guys. We got a Ford Police Interceptor. So that looks cool. Add that to my police collection right there. All right, what's next up here? We have, oh my gosh, wow. My Johnny Lightning game is non-existent. So <laughs> I think I have one Johnny Lightning car. Wow, look at that one, guys. New for 2016. That's pretty awesome right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a Ford Galaxy 500 from 1963. Wow. Black with flames, it says. Well, those are kind of like uh, some nice blue flames. I love it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing uh, car. Wow, what is this? Okay. Look guys, it looks like we have ourselves a glow wheel bone shaker in white. That is pretty awesome that is way awesome oh wow this is nice thank you all right next up here what we have here uh we've got the classic 2015 mustang in the borla livery all right and then we have ourselves the 2011 dodge charger rt with that black and the blue. And there we go, if you wanna see it like that. And then, next up we have ourselves another bone shaker. And there it is in red. All right, there we go. There we go, you can see a little bit better right there. Hot Wheels Off-Road. I love the old packaging on these cars. I wasn't into Hot Wheels when this packaging was out, so this is really cool. And a testament of how for real James is. <laughs> He's good, definitely old school in this, man. It's amazing. And then uh, this is pretty cool. We got a uh, Matchbox Swisher. So I guess that's uh, probably to uh, clean the streets up a little bit there, right? So... Uh, I should have a meter mate next to that. If any cars are parked and haven't moved, they get a ticket. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this next one. It is a police car that is super heavy. This car is so heavy. It's definitely metal on metal. And it's Tiger Wheels. It's not Hot Wheels or Matchbox. I've never had a Tiger Wheels car before, so that is really awesome. <laughs> it says Puerto Rico's finest. Wow. That is so awesome. Wow, look at the packaging. It's yellow. This must be 
Uh, if I cracked it open, it'd be 80s air coming out of it, probably. I have no idea. This is sweet, though. Thank you. Wow. This is so nice. All right. Next up here, we've got this 74 truck right here, which is pretty darn cool, I must admit. That is awesome. I love the, the packaging on that. I wonder when that came out. That is so good. All right. Oh, cool. I wanted one of these and I don't have it till now. I've got an ice charger. Oh, nice. That is cool. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Yes. Nice, nice. I like it. All right, what's up next? Oh, a Mini Cooper in the package. I have one of these, but the top is faded. It kind of looks like this one is a little faded at the top too. Maybe that's part of design. Um, but nice. I like Mini Coopers. They're pretty cool. And I have my first ever dragster right here. I've never had this car before. I know I've kind of seen on Hot Wheels Calgary channel how he had uh, these, one of these, or he has like five or six of them, or whatever. But I've never had one. This is this is mega awesome. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. All right, here we go. The Zamac. Yeah, I did say I wanted some Zamac cars because I want to do a Zamac race. So, I don't know, man. If anybody want to sell me some Zamax or something, let me know. Because that would be cool. Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is a really cool Zamax car right there. All right, next up, we've got a 69 Corvette livery racer right there. And let's see. There you go. That is a pretty cool looking uh, vet right there. Nice indeed. Okay, next. Oh, wow. Okay. This is funny. Look at that. The, the Chrysler 300C, like all tuned out. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It says 50th anniversary. I had never had seen that one. And I was definitely in Hot Wheels and I missed that one. That is really cool. Hey, wow. 300C. And then next up, we have ourselves a really cool 64. Four, Lincoln. Look at that with the W Art Series livery. Oh wow! All right, let's flip it up a little bit there. Lincoln Continental. That's hot. Oh, that's good looking. Oh my gosh, all these cars is amazing. Oh, I love it. I wanted one of these, but I, nice a Jeep Wagoneer. That's so cool. Gosh, the cars I miss out on, man. I wonder if different states just get different stuff or what. But that is mad, 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 mad cool. Matchbox. And uh, here is a fantasy car. The Legends of Speed. The Aristo Rat. Right there. I know this car was in one of the 52nd anniversary... Um, Cars too, I believe it was. Uh, the Hollinator is next up here. There we go. The some of these have, in the past, the new ones have special features, I think, where there's a stamp or something on it, where it stamps uh, a Hot Wheels logo if you put a piece of paper in the middle of it or something like that. Pretty cool. Next up. The Big Air, Bell Air. I know that's a very popular car among a lot of people, and I like that one. I don't believe I have that color. I don't really have that many of that car, like three or four probably. Next up, another Bone Shaker. Bone Shakers. I went from having maybe one or two bone shakers now to this box. Now my collection is getting pretty fat. <laughs> nice. And another bone shaker. I could have me a bone shaker race. That's pretty awesome. All right. What do we got next here? 
Looks like we are rolling with the 69 Camaro right here. Cars of the decades. The packaging is really awesome and cool. Let's flip that right there so you can see that a little bit better. And then, next up, we are rolling with something called Tag Rides Boombox. And it still has the price tag of 94 cents on it from Walmart, which I don't have one in my city. So I don't get any Walmart cars. That is cool. I love that. And next up, we have a 69 Dodge Charger with the Hot Wheels livery on it. All right. Ooh, cruising for a bruising. I like that, it's a good color. So you don't see too many Hot Wheels in that color. It's kind of smurfy, smurf blue on there. So that's pretty awesome. And then we've got a really crazy looking casting right here. Hover and out. Next up, we've got ourselves the Mazda Miata by the late Ruasada. And then, here we go. We've got ourselves another bone shaker. This is awesome. All right, James, I guess you want me to have a bone shaker race because this is, <laughs> I can't say I don't have any bone shakers now. Wow. Hope you guys are excited to see this 67 Chevy. That is pretty awesome. And then next up we've got, I remember this one is probably much when I was starting to get into the Hot Wheels to get the Corvette right there. Oh uh, yeah. That is a classic yellow, remember that one? So awesome. And then, yep. This is when I was getting started in Hot Wheels, man. The custom Fort Maverick, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That is pretty awesome. Whew. And then, wow, we've got Elsa rolling in her vet right there. That is sweet. Wow, that color is dreamy. <laughs> wow, okay. Never had one of those before, that's pretty awesome. All right, and speaking of never had, this is my first ever double. <laughs> a two car double, what is that? A Hot Wheels race team. That is sweet. Those, it's heavy, those cars are definitely metal on metal. That is this history right here I'm looking at, I already know. I already know I'm looking at history. Speaking of that, uh, I've got a mystery model in there, so that'd be kind of cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Messed up hitting the hitting the camera there. <laughs> That's a mystery model. That's crazy shit. You guys want me to crack it? See what's in there? All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll crack it right now and see what's in here. But while I'm doing that, I'll give you another car to look at. Uh, here, while I crack that open, we can look at this surfy turkey. Okay. All right, I'm gonna crack this mystery model right now. All right, I've cracked it. So let's see what we got, guys. We have got, this is what we have right here. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool, man. We've got the safety car to drift. Wow. Look at that, dude. That is a cool little mystery ride right there. Wow. Good old Camaro. All right. That's pretty awesome. It comes with a sticker as well. Sweet. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh. Looks like there is another mystery model right here. All right, let's crack this one too. Let's see what's in here. All right, 
Uh-oh. There's the sticker. So, looks like we have got ourselves a nice little ride right there, man. Look at that. The 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Very, 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 very smooth. Nice. And yet, the other car was a, uh, this was a Ford Mustang concept. I call it a Camaro. Shows how much I know. It's a Ford Mustang GT, so that's cool. So we've got these two cool mystery cars right there. That is pretty awesome. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. All right, next up, we've got ourselves a Gran Turismo Nissan Skyline. Looks, looks pretty smooth. Go. Check it out that way too. That is pretty awesome. Oh, <laughs> looks like we've got ourselves the classic hot tub. Hotter than a hot tub, hot tub, hot tub, as uh, Calgary would say. Sweet, brand new casting. Um, a remake, it's not a new casting, it's just a revisited casting. It's more current. And then we've got the Night Shifter. Oh, nice. Next coming up, we have the awesome Good Humor food truck, which is pretty cool. Like classic food truck. Nice, nice and heavy. And, well, this one, uh, this one, next one just came out as a, uh, <laughs> it came out the packaging, but here it is. There we go, another bone shaker. Bone shaker. Awesome. And then I have this really cool packaged Batman. No, 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 Batman, that was a little hard to see in the there you go. We got a little Batman series going on. The Brave and the Bold, DC Comics. And here we go. This one is nice. A 1972 Buick Riviera. Johnny Lightning. JL, the spoilers. Let's look at the front of that. The details. In the back of that oh my gosh would you look how the back of that car looks like cars nowadays look so boxy it's so cool to see like older cars just looking so good Ooh, a diaper dragger one of my friends just had a baby i should give that to her <laughs> it would be funny like it's uh it's a boy too it's a boy she got a boy so that'd be kind of cool all right What's next up here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love Volkswagens. It's got a Volkswagen Beetle Matchbox. It's in blue. Oh, that looks so cool. And look at, oh, and it has headlights detailed. The hood is detailed. The back is detailed. Even down the license plate. That is cool. That is so cool. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. We got next up another matchbox, a Freightliner. Mm -hmm, nice. It's a workhorse truck. Uh, not really much details on the front of it though, but it is definitely cool. And then we've got a Mustang right there. Convertible. I think that might have been one of my uh, convertible races too. That uh, Pole Boy has sent some convertibles out when we did a Pole Boy race. And then, ooh, classic 2012 mystery machine. Oh, snap. That is so cool. I love the mystery machines. I actually like collecting those. That's pretty awesome. Wow, this is so crazy. So, oh, yes, yes, yes. I do not have this meter made color here. I like meter made stuff. The police, that's cool. That is a cool color. Matchbox. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is, that's cool. I love it. I love police cars and stuff. Oh, cool. We got another kind of food truck here. We got a quick bite. Ooh, somebody likes me. I know I love them fast cars. <laughs> the McLaren Speed Tail. Yes, that is awesome. That color is sweet too. I'll ride that in real life. And then next up from the Fast and Furious Fast Five. I don't believe I have this either. A 2009 Nissan GTR. Let's see. This one looks a little decked out too. Look at that. This is a good one. Wow, I like that. It's totally got front and back. Okay, then we dive into another Chrysler 300 with a different paint job. Tuned out. This one is decked out too in the back. Look at that. They got the silver and the lights in the front. That's well done. That is definitely well done. And then we've got another hovering out right there. All right, let's see what we got next. We have a 71 Plymouth Road Runner. I love the graphic card. That looks good. They did such a good job with Hot Wheels and the graphic cards. Ooh, <laughs> a 56 Flash Cider. Now this looks like something you would see raced on Bobby D's channel, right? Lakeside, Bobby D channel. I love that guy's channel, man. He's got that wheel, the wheel of speed. Yes. Next up, we've got ourselves another surfing turf. Oh yeah. And then, oh, whoo, this is nice. Porsche 911. Look at that. The GT3 Cup. Wow. Did you look at that livery on there? That is nice. Let's see if we got anything on the front going here. Yeah, we do. Got a nice little front. Nothing really in the back, but that is definitely cool. 1999. First editions. All right. Then we've got Electra Track here. Fantasy cars, probably fast on the track. All right, this is too nice. 55 Corvette. The 55 Corvette. All right, then we've got, oh, look at this, like a little baby bone shaker, but it's called a skull shaker. I can honestly say I don't have any skull shakers. All right, looks like we got ourselves on a short card here. The 70 Camaro. All right, we got ourselves coming up here from 2018. None other than the Justice League Batmobile. Oh, yeah. That color is nice, it's like a bluish color there. Yep. And then for you guys who love the O's 442, you got the donk one. Yeah, on the big tires. That's how they roll out in Oakland, California, across the bridge from my house. I mean, yeah, right across the bridge from my city, not my house. Ah, give me a little water here. All right, here we go. Next up is a zoom in for my uh, older GoPro. That's kind of cool, that'll work. And then we've got ourselves the Beatles yellow submarine little mini Cooper. Yes, indeed, that is nice. Look at that. I love that roof work on there. Not much going on in the back. The front though, look at that front grill, it's real nice. Boom. All right, next up we've got Back Drafter. Fantasy car, crazy looking. 
looks like it's, well, I guess it is kind of like a fire truck sort of situation. Oh, and here we go. For those of you guys who love the mod rods, the Gumball 3000, there you go. And a 1998 first edition bad mutter. It's a bad mutter. There we go, Ford. Nice. Look at this, yellowed out, man. That's so cool. 1998 air in there. Oh, wow, what is this? This is too cool. <laughs> it's like a clown car. It's a pedal driver. I wouldn't be surprised if that little thing was quick. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's pretty cool. All right, next up. Going along with the bling bling. We've got the Hummer. Yes, that is cool. I like that Hummer. That is... Nice, actually, this is crazy. It's hip hop, hip hop hover. All right, next up, we got the Doom Daddy. Yep, the 50th anniversary Doom Daddy. All right, and then we've got our tuned twin mill. Yes, indeed, the tuned twin mill. And oh yes, this is too cool for school here. I've uh, got the Lamborghini Urus right there. Wow, that packaging is nice. Wow, nice details in the front and some in the back too. Okay, okay. I like that. Oh, the 70 Plymouth Super Bird. Would you look at that car right there? Just tilt it up a little bit there. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right, guys. We're getting close to the end here. I believe there's only three more rides in the box. I just looked over there. So you've got the 68 Dodge Dart. There we go. Mopar or no car. <laughs> All right. And wow, this packaging is super unique. It's, what is this? Oh, it's a Racing Champions uh, Fast and Furious uh, car. It's the Evo Lancer, I believe. It says Jetta Street Tuner, 1980. No, it's a 1985 Volkswagen Jetta Street Tuner. Huh. That is cool. There you go. All right, we got one last one in the box, guys. And, oh, it's a good one. <laughs> it is another one of those cool high speed motos. Moto Track Stars. Wow. Thank you guys, this video is on the long side, but it's amazing, it's full of love in the box. Uh, this is awesome, wow, this is so cool. All right guys, thank you for uh, checking this out with me. I'll flip the camera back here in one second. All right, all right, all right, that was amazing. That was a great journey through history with those cars. Thank you, James Clemens, I appreciate you so much. And. Um, some of these cars I'm clearly gonna have in my collection I've never had before. And a lot of them I will be sharing too with other people and stuff. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. And as always, love, peace, and hair grease. And I uh, look forward to a Fugitive versus Fugitive video for you guys to sign up for, all right? Where you guys will be going against each other, subscriber against subscriber, basically with the fleet of police cars chasing you to hell to see if you can cross the finish line first. All right, love y'all. A true donut drifter. <laughs>